Hello, Spencer with Townline Equipment, and we are a full-line Kubota CE dealer with locations in New Hampshire, New York, and Vermont. Today I'm going to introduce you to the My Kubota app and Kubota Now Telematics and show you what these two programs can do for you as an equipment owner. We're going to head into the setup shop now where I'm going to introduce you to Adam and Adam's going to take us through the physical installation process of Kubota Now Telematics. Right, so when we go to install your telematics in your machine, there are two main components, uh, the modem and the wiring harness. And what we do is we install them in there, and once it's installed, we pair it to your current email and your machine's serial number. And beyond that, the salespeople will walk you through the process for setting you up with the app. So if you are now considering what Kubota construction equipment can have telematics, the answer is all of them. Whether it's a KX033, our popular 040, a U48, all the way up to the KX080, all of these machines are ready to have Kubota Now telematics installed. The first step to this will be downloading the My Kubota app from your App Store or Google Play. Once the My Kubota icon is on your home screen, open it up and enter your email and preferred password. Once those two items have been put in, welcome to My Kubota. Then you will add your equipment by model number and serial number. Your machine will end up in your home screen once those steps have been completed. Then you will click on the machine you are looking to watch and it's going to bring you to this home page. On this home page at the top will be your machine, your model, your pin and the hours that are on that machine as well. You will also see here its battery and fuel level as well as its location. So let's click on the top category under Kubota Now, the telematics page. At this page, you will see again the physical location, the last time your machine communicated, your fuel level, your battery, hydraulic temperature, and coolant temperature. Let me take you through one real world application where telematics has a practical purpose. This R640 has been set up with the snow wing and is gonna go down to Claremont and it's responsible for plowing a single parking lot. That parking lot though is adjacent to other accounts that this owner is not responsible for. The owner of this machine can log into his app and he can put a geofence around the area that he is responsible for. Now, when his operators get in his machine, they and the owner can get notified when they get to the edge of the account that they're responsible for. This is where we would draw the map of where our machine is supposed to be. And when your machine goes outside of that geofence, you will get a notification. Below that is your resources categories. So if we have a fault code, if we want to reference the operator's manual, if our machine, for example, this machine's at 1100 hours, let's check our maintenance schedule. So we can come down here to the every thousand hours tab and it has the recommended items to check or address. So hydraulic oil change, engine valve clearance adjustment, air filter replacement, hydraulic suction filter replacement. Let's go under the daily check option and see what is recommended. So here it gives us a quick checklist that we can work down and check our machine over. If we back out and we look at fault code lookup, this is where your machine with telematics can display active codes, which this machine does not have, or we can look up a fault code. So for example, if we had an E code in the dash, and then we would have four digits, in this case, we'll look up a E0008, that populates an E code eight, which is a fuel sensor system and it says immediately contact your dealer. Where this is helpful is you yourself, when you call to schedule service, can tell us exactly what's going on with your machine. As we work down the options and the resource, you'll also find this box called compatible attachments. 
Under this page, you can see items that will fit your skid steer. So maybe we are considering pallet forks. Let's grab that pallet fork category and here we see options from 3,000 all the way up to 6,400 pound forks with model numbers that will fit our machine. Let's back out from this machine to the home page and you will see that there are multiple pieces of equipment listed here. You can have one machine or an entire fleet of machines in your app. Let's enter this SVL97-2 and quickly go to the telematics bar and we can see that this machine is located on its job site in Milton, New York. Its fuel level is 96%. Its def level is 100%. Its battery is at 12.5 volts. It has good hydraulic temp and good coolant temp as well. Another benefit to the My Kubota app and Kubota Now Telematics is the fact that these machines will notify you when they're in transport. So this M62 is a very popular unit for rental yards. The rental yard will want to be notified when that machine is being transported for delivery but they also want to be notified if that machine is being transported when it's not supposed to be. From the home page, with all of your equipment listed, in the top right corner is a message icon. This you can click on and you will see all of your alerts. Some of the important alerts to look for are these transportation alerts as your machine will tell and notify you when it's on the move. You can also see here where our yard skid steer has entered and exited the geofence that we created for it. The third scenario I'll take you through on where Kubota Now and My Kubota app can be beneficial is with this KX033. This is a really popular excavator for personal use, whether it's your hunting camp up in Maine or your farm over in Vermont. If you're gonna go away for an extended period of time, with my Kubota and Kubota Now Telematics, you can log into your application and you can inhibit this machine from starting. What that means is anybody that comes by with a key, they'll be able to put it in the slot, try to start your machine, but your machine is gonna be completely locked down. It's going to act like the battery is completely dead. You can take that battery out, put a new one in, and it still isn't gonna start. It gives you complete security of your equipment while you are gone. We'll now back out to the home page. Your second category, Inhibit Restart, is listed. This is where you will go if you are going to leave your equipment somewhere for a suspended amount of time. You will click the red box, Disable Starting, type in your passcode, and then your machine will be locked out from starting. When you get back to your machine and you would like your machine to start, this red box will enable you to start your machine and you'll have to enter your passcode again. There is your quick introduction to the My Kubota application. If this video has generated questions about the My Kubota app or Kubota Now Telematics, reach out to your closest location in New Hampshire, New York, and Vermont. For more videos like this, visit our website, townlineequipment.com.